Hello ladies and gentlemen of Phone Destroyer, it's Smash Mob. And before using this deck, I had been stuck in the mid to high 20s. Um, every card in this deck can be attained from playing the game. I've been playing for about two and a half weeks. But as you can see here, I've been playing quite a bit. I've uh, <laughs> done 340 of the single player levels. And as far as PvP goes, about 300 plus matches. Before I go over the strengths and what I like about this deck, I would like to go over first what I don't <laughs> like too much about the deck. Don't get me wrong, these cards were awesome to begin with, but level 1 epics are just not cutting it anymore. Level 1 epics were great for, I'd say, up to about rank 35. At that point, you probably want to switch them out for level 3 rares or level 4 commons if you have them. So first we have Hook Hand Clyde. This card can be your best friend or your worst enemy. The moment you drop him, he throws a bird that takes out a lot of units. Um, if it hits the hero though in the middle of a fight, it can uh, <laughs> kind of ruin your whole day. This is probably the only epic that I'm going to keep in my deck, even if it's level 1. Although I keep finding them available in lockers, <laughs> I haven't been lucky enough to get my third yet. But it would be awesome to have them at level 2. Still, at level 1, that 248 damage goes a long way. Next up, Dog Poo. Amazing attack and health ratio. Although at level 1 he's not really that effective anymore, I'll probably be swapping him out for a level 4 common. I'm thinking Poseidon Stan. Arrows was <laughs> awesome. It can clear all assassins off the board and at lower levels it could clear all the ranged units off the board as well. Um, I'm planning on switching this out for Fireball. It's just not that effective at level 1 anymore. And I don't see... I don't see myself finding more of it anytime. Calamity Heidi. Probably pound for pound the best card for its cost. Uh, this card is awesome at supporting, defending. And at just two energy, if you're using Cowboys and Indians, this card is a must-have in your deck. And now, at level four, I mean, that health attack ratio, wow. And Smuggler Ike is currently the only assassin I use. Reason being, his attack can get out of control after a few seconds. Not to mention, it seems like he attacks a little bit faster than all the other assassins. I noticed when he meets up with another assassin, he usually will get the first hit in. Angel Wendy, okay attack, good amount of health for a ranged unit. Once she's been out there long enough, you get to throw out that heal, and that is, that's huge. 141 health, that's half the life of most of my units. And it heals three units, keeping your push going real strong. Friar Jimmy is currently my favorite card. I'm gonna be working on leveling him up, hopefully to be my first level five card. Um, his attack to health ratio is pretty good, but it's the health regeneration per second that over time, if he is not slain, uh, it keeps you in there forever. Love this card. Nathan has some really good range. His damage is pretty good. He gets rid of any of those little summon spells like rats and birds. He gets rid of those real quick. And if you ever need a hit or two on the leader, you can throw him down the middle and you know get a quick couple hits in. He, he'll hit from your side of the board. If you decide to use Nathan, I recommend leveling him up as fast as possible. You want to get his health high enough to where he can take arrows. 
Sheriff Cartman is an okay tank. His health is his health is all right. His attack is is decent, I guess, for a tank. What is cool? His charge effect does hit ranged units, and it hits air units. Can clear a lot of small units. So he's an okay tank. Not the best, in my opinion. If I had it to do all over again, I'd probably go with Zen Cartman. Purify may be the best value card in the game. Not only can it get rid of negative effects on yourself, such as poison, mind control, it can even get rid of positive effects. Say your enemy throws out a regeneration, you can instantly get rid of it. Your enemy uses an effect that increases their attack. You can get rid of that as well. For only one energy, I mean, that's awesome. Regeneration, I'm sure you all, anyone who's played a Mystic deck knows about Regeneration. Uh, this card, you can use it during a push, you can use it while defending. It heals so fast. If the damage is not focused on one unit, they're going to stay alive forever. And last, but certainly, certainly not least, we have Unholy Combustion. This card is is a must-have. You never know when someone's going to have a man bear pig or just a tank that is overleveled that you can't handle. It instantly gets rid of them, does a little bit of damage to the card surrounding it. I threw this in the deck the, right after the first time I faced a level 2 man bear pig. It was uh yeah, it was a it was a sad day. Phone Destroyer Town. And that's pretty much it for my deck. I'm going to be using this hopefully all the way into Legendary. I know I'm going to need to make some changes, especially with Dog Poo. He just isn't cutting it anymore. But uh, yeah, this, this deck is pretty easy to make. Um, it's pretty easy to level up. Let me know what you think if you give it a try. I thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, so I got lucky. The last two games I played, I won them both. They each gave me two stars. Got this rank up reward. Pretty excited about it. 40 cash. So this deck can get you to uh, rank 44. <laughs> um, yeah, I thank you all for watching and now have a great day.